What's up guys, RC with Truck Central and we're back with another video. If you guys watched my second video, I went over some of the cons that the new 2019 Ram had. And one of my biggest complaints is the trailer wiring back there. Now, it's set up to where you have the seven pin on the bottom and the four pin at the top. So when you flip up the lid on the four pin to put the wiring connection in there, with the tailgate down, it interferes with that. And the reason I've got to have the tailgate down is put a four-wheeler in the bed and a four-wheeler on the trailer. So I need to use that a lot. Well, one of the suggestions to take care of that problem was to get one of these. Four pin to seven pin adapter, and it plugs into the one on the bottom to the seven pin, and then the four pin just plugs right into this. And now with the tailgate down, now you can see that it's very easy to get to and it doesn't affect hooking the cable up any longer you just plug it in right there like that and it's all good and it's an easy fix problem solved so today what i want to talk about is how does this thing ride i got a lot of comments in the last video that said well you know what about the ride how does it feel you know this that and the other thing we've gone over some of the uh, miles per gallon we've already covered that um, we did some of the options and what I like and dislike so this video I just want to kind of go into um, how it feels on the road and <laughs> let me tell you something this thing is so nice it's a beautiful ride so let's get into that now being this is the bighorn four-wheel drive model it does have a little bit stiffer suspension it should it's a four-wheel drive and it's meant for off-road that being said I don't notice it as much on the road Yes, if you're going over the speed bumps and maybe some rougher patches in road work or something like that, you'll notice it and it'll jar you around. But I mean, this thing rides like a beauty. I love it. Now, my Tundra also had the uh, off-road package on it. And now that was only two-wheel drive. It wasn't four-wheel drive, but it still had the off-road package on it. And it was a very, very stiff ride now that also could account for the tires that i had on that truck i had all terrains instead of the radials that are on this stock um later on i will be upgrading those tires i will be putting an all-terrain tire on there with a with a um aftermarket wheel as well so i will be able to tell the difference between this ride and that ride and i'll do another video on that as well but <clears throat> the ride on this truck is absolutely amazing when you turn the steering wheel, you immediately feel it in the rack and pinion. I mean, there's no delay. I know there's some vehicles, especially a lot of the older trucks, um, when you start putting three, four, six inch lifts on them, there's play in the pitman arm and stuff like that. So you get a little bit of movement um, before you actually start steering. Now, there is no lift on this truck at all. So everything's stock and I get no play. You you turn it, you feel it. You, you can actually feel this truck on the road. That's what's really nice. It's almost as if I'm driving a sports car. And I know you're gonna say, oh yeah, okay, that's crazy. But in essence, with the 5.7 Hemi and as I would say as touchy as the accelerator is, with the way this thing handles, honestly, it feels more of a performance car than it would a pickup truck. They did an extremely good job with making this thing feel like you're driving just a regular vehicle on the road and not a work truck so to speak um, nowadays everybody wants they want a pickup truck but they also want to ride in comfort and with this truck you definitely get that I've gone over the seats in the last video as well these seats are absolutely comfortable they are far more comfortable than the seats I had in my Tundra and like I said those seats were really really good I didn't have any complaints these are just better I don't know what it is if it's the material they used underneath and the, the padding or whatnot but I haven't noticed as many back issues that I had had in the Tundra by far the best handling truck that I've driven so far um, I've driven my brother's Ford F-150 uh, obviously I've driven the Tundra I test drove the new Chevy's and this truck outperforms handling wise better than any truck on the road other than that i don't really have much else to say about it like i said you can um you can drive up and down these residential streets and you just don't get the feel of driving a pickup truck and you know 30 mile an hour 20 mile an hour it's like oh okay whatever but you know you, you pick this thing up and you start going down one of the back roads around here I've got a few 
and I have taken it through those roads and I tell you what it handles just it actually handles better than my wife's Chevy Cruze um, and that's not saying much but you know the Cruze is a small passenger car and is designed to handle the road a little bit better than um, you know a half ton pickup truck would so yes the car should handle better than the pickup truck and I think just by driving this and driving that uh, I feel the road more in the pickup truck than I do um, the car uh, I, I don't know what else to compare it to I you know I haven't driven a charger or, or a challenger to, to compare it to that um, which is probably honestly no comparison it's really hard to compare a pickup truck to um, you know a muscle slash sports car but the braking another thing that is absolutely awesome with this truck it's got huge disc brakes in the rear very smooth brake pedal I love that you can feel it start to slow down as soon as you start putting just a little bit of pressure on there and you know that's account to the, the big disc rotors in the front and the bigger ones in the rear They're definitely way bigger in the rear than they were on my Tundra so a plus on braking that for sure I haven't been able to tow anything that's you know got any type of weight to it yet the only thing that I have towed is my two four-wheelers so um, here in the future we will be getting a 20-foot equipment trailer um, with that I will be getting a side-by-side -side as well so it's a little bit more weight I'll have that in the back to pull plus side-by-side -side and two four-wheelers so I'll get a little bit more weight back there to see how this thing does with some towing capabilities Acceleration, you know, I went over a little bit on the last video as well, but love the pedal response and I'm going to be adjusting that as well. Um, look for that in the next videos to come. I'm going to do an upgrade video where you will be able to see some of the things that I've done on the exterior, interior, and a little bit of some performance upgrades. And as I get more and more things I will be doing more and more videos this truck is really 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 nice it's smooth it glides on the road it handles damn near like a sports car and it is just an all-around great truck if you have not got yourself out there and actually test drove one of these trucks I highly highly recommend you do because I'm telling you right now it is it is worth it I think you're gonna be a little impressed as well um, I honestly didn't think I was going to like this truck as much as I do and then the more and more I drive this truck the more and more I fall in love with it um, and that's why these owner review videos are you know good information for you guys especially if you're in the market for buying a new truck and you really don't know what you want um, you, you've heard rumors you don't like this particular truck you don't like that particular brand you know this that and the other thing so Th this will hopefully help you out with, with some of those um, questions that you have. Um, if there's anything else you guys want me to do or see on the new Ram, let me know. Leave a, leave a comment below so that we can maybe do another video. I just wanted to go over some of the aspects of how this thing handles on the road as I turn down one of the main roads. I'm actually getting on it now. She gets up and goes. So, um, quick acceleration. A, a lot more than I need for what I'm doing you know like I've said before it's not a race car I'm not on a racetrack but it's nice to have that power when I need it because I've definitely definitely needed the power um, in certain situations so I'm barely moving the steering wheel and you can see that it moves with me really 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 responsive the power steering on this is super nice it's not too stiff it's not too light uh, it, it just I can feel the truck on the road and I like it uh, I can feel it a lot more than I could in the Tundra that's for sure um, and that again it's not taking away from the Tundra I know you guys the Tundra is a great truck I love my Tundra and I always will like the Toyotas so I'm not you know jumping on the Ram bandwagon and because it's all about your preference and what you want in a truck. Um, if you want looks, if you want handling, if you want towing, or if you want all the above, you know? So it's just gonna be one of them things where it comes down to preference. And I 
jumped over to Ram because I gave him a shot. You know, the other thing I notice, there's not much body roll on this truck. It's stiff enough that it keeps it. So if you're making a sharp corner or, you know, you're coming up with some speed around a corner, it doesn't have as that much body roll to make you feel like, oh, you can't handle this turn uh, because it will. It'll probably do it better than you think. Uh, there's times that I've come up a little quick on a turn and I'm like, whoa, I better tone it down a little bit. I'm in a pickup truck and she hugged the turn and stayed in the lane and didn't roll and didn't want, you know, it wasn't a lot of oversteer and I was impressed and I was like, damn. So again, get out and test drive one of these things. I promise you won't be disappointed. You, um, you may be a hater of the company and that's fine. I was not a big Chrysler fan myself. Uh, I figured I'd give them a shot. I really liked the looks of the truck. I think they did a good job. I liked the classic look too. Don't get me wrong. The older trucks were really nice looking trucks as well. Um, but when they redesigned it, I just thought they looked really good. And I saw a picture of the interior and I thought that it looked really good. So I, I gave them a shot. And I'm glad I did because um, I'm not disappointed. And I don't think you will be too. So um, yeah, get out and test drive one. And find out for yourself how actually amazing this truck is um, it's nice guys like and subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss out on any new videos we've got a lot of videos coming to you if there's something you want to see let us know below and we'll catch you on the next video thanks guys so another thing y'all were getting on to me about which i knew and i was going to do i just didn't get to it was take the dealer installed crystal uh sticker off the back and i removed it and it's all nice and clean in the back now, so there you go.